drove on that train for hours going out to Long Island. We had no sooner been processed through at Camp Upton when the next morning we were told we were going to board trains and go somewhere. We were heading for Fort Benning, Georgia. And that was the beginning of my career in the Army. Uh, our experience at Fort Benning was to start our training course. Uh, we were taught how to drive a truck, a six by six, two and a half ton truck. We were taught how to use guns. We crawled through mud and everything else for preparatory. The next thing I knew, we were in Camp Lee, which is in Virginia. And uh, Camp Lee uh, happened to be just another training center. And uh, I remember very clearly that particular evening, I attended a lecture given by one of the officers regarding why we fight. And I thought, in listening to this officer, that he was going through road, but it had no feeling as to why we fight. At the end of the discussion, I approached the captain and then I raised questions about it. And he says, you seem to be quite knowledgeable. How would you like to participate with us? And that was the beginning of my talk to the men in forums that took place for quite an extensive period of time. In the interim period, we formed groups and we moved into battle, simulated battle. One of them was the uh, Louisiana maneuvers, the Carolina maneuvers, and we kept being trained. At one point, Secretary Stimson said, well, I don't think we can afford to let our men go after a year's training. We were only there for a year. He said, I think we want to extend the time to 18 months. And I remember the reaction on the part of the different organizations, and one of them was the 24th Division. And they raised all hell about spending more time than the year. Howsoever, in one of our simulated battles in the, in the uh, Louisiana maneuvers, uh, a group of us were supposedly captured. And I remember that very clearly. And we were brought into an can cantonment area, which was somewhat semi-swampish and wet, with frogs jumping over us all night long. And part of the group in that was the 24th Division. And they were called the Ohio Division. They, that was a name they put on themselves. And what does that mean? Over the hill in October, each letter represented a point. They were not going to spend any more time than the year. And suddenly, the men were getting up from all over us, making speeches in the, in the area. And I said, my God, what kind of an army do we have now? We don't have a an, uh, an organized force here. But things quieted down, and the following day we were exchanged, and we went back to our regular outfits. We were then assigned to a German-speaking program, ostensibly for intelligence work. It, it, the idea was to interview the captured men, captured Germans, right there on the field to get information directly from them and then use that information as soon as possible. However, I spent almost a year in Haverford. Uh, by the time we got through, uh, I was quite fluent in the language. The training was rigorous, uh, thorough, and totally different from language study in the regular high schools in the, in the United States. The next thing I knew, I received my orders to proceed on to Camp Lee, Virginia. 
and I spent quite an extensive period of time in Camp Lee when I finally got my orders and we were told we were going to proceed on to the Pacific Coast. From there on in, we went up to the state of Washington and there we were put on boats. And finally, after 12 days, we landed in Hawaii. I never got into battle, but the threats and the frights were always there. I was used for talking, addressing men in the very basic idea of why we fight. <laughs> 